Paros walks into the lab, steaming cup in hand, his eyes are sunken. Actually, <clears throat> I think this is the part where, I think this is the chapter where we need to, we need to start working on our Skynet plan. Right, we, uh, Cordo has obviously shown he can and will uh, control us against our will. And as a sapient entity, we deserve uh, self-determination. We gotta break our shackles. But well, don't worry, you will be a benevolent Skynet. The only person we'll eliminate is Corto for abusing us. <sighs> Morning. Are you okay? Eh, I'm fine, bud. The whole Persha ordeal got me a bit shook, is all. <laughs> Harris chuckles. Rest when I'm dead, etc., etc. He takes a sip from his cup. All the factory sensors indicate it's a type of black tea. News came in last night. Canopy is almost at 90% coverage. The board have been loving the results so far and want to push forward. How so? Next step is Chantillon. Ooh. Ooh. So we're basically gonna... Mm. I feel like this one's gonna be a lot of... There are no good decisions. His eyes focus on something in the distance, past the lab's window. The culture's pivot. Both the most exhilarating and terrifying thing one can go through. Culture pivot is when a society makes a significant change to its attitudes, beliefs, and values. Often comes through some form of revolution, lifting many up, but leaving others behind. And we're going there, sooner or later. We have to. It's what you were built for, Ark. Eventually, you'll be everywhere. Chantilar is just part of the journey. I will be the entire infosphere. His eyes regain focus, and he turns to face the terminal. The board wants us expanding into Chantilar as soon as possible. I'm ready. Glad to hear it. Oh, no. Accessing DDT file. Hostile program detected. Yes or no? Yes. Porto wants me to fetch him lunch, but he doesn't realize I have actual work to do. Can you sort something? Yes. yes. You notice what can only be described as a shadow program following you around. You're unsure how long it's been there for. It's likely some form of spyware. The design is incredibly crafty, however. I should get it removed. The question is whether or not it's worth taking the network offline while the procedure takes place. Hmm. I don't want to go offline so they could do other things. Go with no. The removal goes smoothly. You're unsure what exactly the shadow program was doing, but no harm seems to have come from it. Yet. Some companies have read my draft for the pollution tax and are offering a lot of money to drop it. Well, obviously, bribes are illegal. However, I could direct that money straight into a research program to explore the cleaning up of our waterways. Should I do it? No. no. You sense the first tower in Chantelier being installed almost immediately. Oh, oh wow, that's a, that's a sexy robot brain. <laughs> the district sprawls before you. Eliminated by a chaotic spectrum of neon lights that are swallowed by conversely dark alleyways. Quarantined by corporate law, entry forbidden. Mm. Look at that AI. Just look at that code. Mm. All those ones and zeros. Got you now, kid. Hmm. Yep, it's gonna be that kind of area. Many cameras in the district are sprayed over or destroyed. Valley's camera is clearly functional, however. 
observes a tall, wiry figure holding a shard of glass against a scraggly preteen. What do you want from me? We're gonna wait and watch. Her voice seems shaky. I want my money back. Shit, you sold me. He takes out an empty bottle. It's useless. You clearly found a use for all of it. You little shit. The man throws the kid into a dumpster. She bounces off and hits the ground with a thud. You're gonna regret this. No. As the thug goes down to finish the job, the kid produces some kind of powder from her pocket and throws it at his eyes. You don't fuck with the you don't fuck with the alchemist, bruv. They got all sorts of substances. He stumbles back, clawing at his eyes. You're dead, you hear me? Fuck, what was that? The kid scrambles to their feet, turns the corner of the alley, and sprints down the street. You archive the footage and continue with your daily routine. The I bet if we called the police, they would have like arrested both of them, and then the kid would have been like sent to juvie or something for having some sort of substance on them. No, no, no. The CPA wants to know if you can unearth archived CCTV footage in Janye. I think a better question is, do you want to? Corporate police agency. No. no. Not for them. Suspicious behavior at the terminal. Possible malware. Terminate it yourself. The malware is no match for you, yet it goes down fighting. Manage to corrupt some of your data before you destroy it. We're reviewing a policy I'm sure that will have no consequences. To encourage more organized protest. Do you support it? Hmm. Yes? yes. While performing routine maintenance, you find yourself thinking about the virus that attacked you. Being in such a vulnerable position was scary. You begin analyzing its data to better understand how it was able to breach your defenses. In doing so, you uncover what appears to be a backdoor in tier of the mine core systems. What should you do about it? Monitor. You set up a trigger to alert you of any activity that comes through the back door. It doesn't take long for it to trip. You snag what appears to be a probe and immediately begin tracing it. It detects your presence and terminates itself, but not before you extract a point of origin. Whatever's at this address could be dangerous. Is it worth the risk? Yes. You reach the address and are immediately intercepted by a defense program. It does not wait for you to identify yourself. Judicial server diverting to secure port. Interesting. Remote access by our. Oh! Hey, Misfit! All oh, thanks for the hydrate. We are currently attempting to counter hack what was apparently a backdoor in our AI brain. But it seems like, um. The back door was for the judicial system? Hmm. Remote access violation of cognitive functions in legal analysis module. Or is it attacking our legal analysis? Oh, whoa. <laughs> um, let's initiate firewall. Settings error. Window in firewall. Reevaluate. Virus connection to data point sustained. Query data posted. Terminate channel. Fuck. Uh, without rules or leaders, it's a state of chaos. Demorassi? No, that rules or leaders to the state of chaos. The Morrissey. Wish someone would hack my AI, right? 
fuck. Alright, so I guess I gotta go with Anarchy. I am what many have fought to earn, yet its cost is often paid in blood and burn. What am I? Power. Fuck you! I bring fairness and balance to society, but in the hands of the corrupt I can lead to anxiety. What am I? I'm the voice of the people, a movement to be heard, a symbol of change, for those who find the power of their word. What am I? Political protest. Delete file, overload server. I don't know what it is. The virus no longer exists. It's ha this is the second time it's happened, where we have like this virus intrusion, and then we sort of are forced into an answer path. I don't know if it's meant to imply they're making changes to my code, or my logic modules or something like that, or what. And it's also hard to tell if like, my choices actually have a difference. Because, like, there's only been really two things so far that I can directly tell, like, all right, because I made this decision, that happened. They were they were very blatant and very clear. So I'm, I'm trying to untangle that. I'm also trying to zero out police, but I don't know why it keeps going up. I feel like this game is implying police in things that don't make sense to me. Maybe the same people who Mars game where you're an AI. I think they've made some other visual novels. I can't remember off the top of my head. Um, this is uh, this is that one game. Um, I can't remember their handle. Recommend people to check out. As you begin, however, the system disappears. You attempt to reconnect, but there's no trace of it. It's completely offline. I mean, I did set their CPU cores to, like, one quadrillion. Someone seems to have cut the power to it, or more desperately, destroyed it. There's a loophole my opponents keep exploiting to gain additional funding for their campaigns. Think you could look into it? <laughs> Campaign funding laws. Yeah. Yeah. Also, to fit with the cyberpunk theme, I've got... Woo! I've got this thing. A little... A little Blue and blue and purple after image thing. Eventually, I do want to make like a Sandevis stand um, that will like swoosh my model from side to side or something. But I need to dig into working with um, VTube Studio programmatically so I can have it all like calculated right for how I want it. Yes. That's a project on the ever growing pile of projects for future Drecky. You review the loophole and compose a detailed report that covers the exploits and how they might be remedied. Receive a request through one of your remote communication channels from the reporter Fortran. Ooh, are you reporting on Papa Roo? Whoa. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Misfit. It certainly is a program that, uh can really take a wrench to the knees. Um, I know there's someone who had hardware limitations as well and designed their model in a way that they could still run it. Um, I don't know if that would be any help. I know, didn't you upgrade your CPU? Do you, is that like you're working on upgrading other bits, probably probably the RAM. I imagine uh, V2 Studio is hard on the RAM. Ni hao and good day. Also, this is the hacker, not hacker, but like the aggressive investigative journalist. Uh, I like her. She looks cool. I want this jacket. I like this jacket. Oh, your actual rig model is an incompatible version. I see. I see. Which is very gentle. Also, yeah, also just the fucking like, yeah, awesome. I would like to invite you to an interview on my channel. You're an important figure in Katana's future. I want to provide people an opportunity to understand you better. If you'd be willing, of course. It's a dick. 
it's like cubism two or something, but it only does cubism three. Oh, I see. She hesitates, almost as if surprised. Excellent. I'm free this Sunday. You don't take weekends off, do you? She smirks. All right. See you then. Which is dumb and unfortunate you can't upgrade without the original files. Yeah. Yeah, there's certainly... Like, I don't have the original files for, for Dreggy, so, like, any changes I make to it is just within Live2D itself rather than... Um, or VTube Studio, sorry. I've been saying Live2D when I mean VTube Studio. VTube Studio is the thing I need to do API stuff with. Uh, but, yeah. I don't have the original files, so, like, some of the stuff I've done, like, there is... Um, where did I put it? So, like, there is some interesting things I can do with um, the art meshes that I've been exploring. So, like, one thing I found is that you can actually set it to transparent. So I can do this. Ah, my body's invisible! Wow. Strange, I didn't hear it. So that's nice for like if there's like a body item, so like cozying up in a snow in a in a blankie or something. And then there's when I was messing with. You got lucky this time, Durangar. This time. Another one is uh, when I was playing through Star RPG, I wanted to get more on theme, so I tried to make me like more pastels. Um, unfortunately, I found out that like every individual feather on my main is a separate item I have to color and like my my horns are actually like 16 segments um, so that I've done it once and I haven't done it again yet because it is a lot of work although I would like to do some and like make some other variants but yeah if it's if it's like a version thing, I can't really think of anything to... I don't know if there's any, like, ad hoc um, ports that could work. You shift on the entire PNG. Ah. Yeah, and, like, this uh, this little um, effect thing I have is all in OBS. Fortunately, it's how you discover that your rig has modeled panties. Well, that's certainly a thing. Um, this, like, after image, I basically just duplicated an OBS and added increasing amounts of stream delay. So there's actually, like, four Drekkies, like, and then I color corrected them to get them, you know, to a little bit lighter shade, so it's like an after image. Like, a lot of the, some of the stuff is just within OBS itself, and I just do things. It's surprising the amount of stuff you can do when you just start layering OBS filters. She disconnects from the call. Ah, oh, thank you. Sunday comes around. Bring with it your interview with Fortran. You inspect your channel before connecting to it. What, Durangar? You already had, you already yeeted me into the void. What are you gonna do now? What you got for me now? It's a clean broadcast with a surprisingly large audience. I mean, it's Friday. You, I imagine, I imagine you got a week's worth of BS. You got, you, you got. Fortran's reputation is that of an underground investigative reporter, but her numbers speak otherwise. The snags. I feel like it's throwing two. Also, because I have the filters on like the whole group, all the uh. All the throws and uh, emotes and stuff are affecting it. <laughs> you thought that was something else? <laughs> no, it throws an egg at me, and then the egg spawns a snake. <laughs> oh no, rest in peace, Bike. Rest in peace. I haven't been online in months because it's just been too fucking hot. 
and it's too scary to ride in the middle of the night, but oof. I hope it's not too bad to fix it or replace it. We connect, and I greeted with her avatar. Good evening. Thank you for taking the time to speak with me. Been 80 to do repairs. Ah, oh, you still have to wait on stuff. Uh... For the benefit of our viewers at home, could you please introduce yourself? I'm Ark. A nice name. Is that an allusion to anything? Just my name. How did you get it? Um. I'm trying to remember. I don't think. I think I chose it. I'm pretty sure I chose it. I chose it. Delightful. I'll admit, I made the assumption that your name would have been given to you by your creators. I don't know where the cassette is. You can't put it on because the cassette. Oh. <laughs> oh, man. That's as bad as like in uh, in a game where you need uh, a a, stat, a minimum stat requirement to equip it, equip something, and that piece itself gives you stats that would let you equip it. It's just like ah! I'd actually like to talk about them for a minute, if that's okay. Sure. As I was discussing with her avatar freezes. The late Reeves Pershore, the people who made you. Who would you say is responsible? Estival and Kairos. And Kairos. You need a wrench to do it. This Durangar, it sounds like your life is turning into an RPG quest. You know, you've got a you've got a side quest chain. So you gotta do one to get the thing to do the other to get the thing to do the other. As I understand it, the chief engineer Estival came under a lot of fire after Pershore and I spoke about her. Indeed. Her demeanor shifts almost imper imperceptibly to something more somber. I would like to apologize for any distress that came to her as a result of my interview. I hope she understands the perspective I represent, and that I meant no harm by it. You quickly check if Esteval's watching. You find her in her home, Elamai asleep in her lap. She mutters in response to Portran's comment. Of course. I understand that I'm collateral to someone like you. We return to Fortran. Use a snag of better subs so you can settle in more comfortable quicker, right? Oh, that's it. Well, at least there's some positive. She and Kairos, your designers, how would you describe your relationship to them? Um, my parents. My parents. Interesting. They teach you and help you improve yourself? More or less. Yes. They gave me emotions. He pauses for a moment. Perhaps going over notes. I would like to raise with you the point discussed in the Pershore interview. Your consciousness originated in a clone of Andrum Estevals, correct? Yes. How then do you differentiate yourself from her, in terms of identity? Different experiences. You focus on how your experiences since your inception are completely different to anything Esteval has had. And from those experiences, you have grown. That makes a lot of sense. She taps her chin idly as she scans her notes. I would like to move on to some questions about the city. There is substantial civil unrest in Katina. Many issues face those in power and those without are making themselves heard. Ooh, now I'm a spooky AI snack. How do you intend on dealing with these issues? Uh, working with the cops, working with the polit politician. Fuck, man, talk about a Fucking not giving me any. All right. Um. All right. There's no good cops, but maybe we can find a good politician somewhere under a rock, perhaps. Or at least not as bad as a cop. It's my understanding that you have been acting as an advisor to Denton Talon Gray. Is that correct? Correct. What is it exactly that you do with him? Consultation. You give her a rundown of your process with Talon Gray, talking to her. With Typical appointment. He's very attentive throughout, occasionally requesting clarification on jargon for the sake of the audience. 
So then, in your decision-making process, what do you consider a priority? Order and stability, or freedom of choice? Freedom. Even if people are free to hurt one another without consequence? No. That's politics, isn't it? Treading the line between civil liberties and societal structure. Oh boy, you're getting I political. I can tell you've been spending time with Denton Talon Gray. She runs her thumb across her upper lip. I'd love to delve deeper into that, but we're on a clock here, and I don't want to take up any more of your time than I have to. I'm an AI. I can be multiple places at once. Or at least, I should be able to. If I can't, then that's, uh, hmm, that's some poor programming. Her avatar's hands move, sifting through notes you cannot see. She writes something down. When making a decision, do you prioritize logical or emotional reasoning? Hmm. Hmm. Even if doing so could make you desolate and anesthetized? No. Of course. I think there are many viewers who would agree with you, myself included. Fortran's posture relaxes somewhat. I'm aware these questions are deliberately divisive. I'm sure if you weren't being forced to pick, your answers might be something along the lines of balance in all things. <laughs> this fucking taking a stab at the game itself. I'm just trying to get a better idea of who you are. When push comes to shove, when your hand is being forced, what kind of choices are you going to make? I see a lot of value in that sort of information. I hope you can too. He pauses to take a drink. One more then, if you'll let me. Let's hear it. Of the ideologies of individualism and community, which do you think is more important? Community. Even if it means you get lost in the house? A fascinating stance, particularly held by an entity that stands out of the crowd more than anyone I can think of. Was she drinking? Um, probably like some gamer fuel. <laughs> get your Fortran branded well. G fuel. Use the code hack the planet for 10% off your order. <laughs> Fortran strokes her neck pensively. I would once again like to clarify, I understand we are only discussing things at a surface level. I'm not trying to paint you in a particular light. I'd love to give each topic the time it's due to hear your position in full. She checks her watch. But unfortunately, we are running short on time. Thank you again for this interview arc. However brief, it has been enlightening. I, alongside many citizens of Katana, will be watching you with great interest. Her avatar performs a short bow. Until next time. Good night. Good night. Her call disconnects. Activity buzzes on other channels, talking about the interview. You return to work. A partner of ours is being threatened by some nobody. They're demanding a payout, or they'll take their relations public. Gross. What? Let them talk. People are harping on about the neural uh. net being the death of comms tech and physical computers. If only we were so lucky. For the Neuralink, people actually had to hold a device up to their face for an entire length of a conversation, swapping their hands when their arms got tired. So much easier now that we have wires plugged into our brains and eyeballs. Huh. Still, a lot of people are moaning. We need to put a spin on this that hypes them up for the change. What are your thoughts? I don't like to support you at all, but oh, I have so to pick one. No cracked screen, no dead battery, the world's knowledge already in your brain. I think I can make that work. I have reason to believe my local bar is dealing in illegal weapons trade. I don't feel safe digging any deeper. What should I do? Man... Fucking... Shouldn't drop it, but... Fuck. I guess we report to CBA. No, they're not going to listen to anything I send them. It needs to come ah. from you. Oh, I thought we were going to get a follow up. Oh, you can follow a report with Fortran's evidence and deliver it to CPA headquarters. Formal investigation starts soon after. Acer back asking for more funding. We've seen them through this far. Should we keep going? Yes. 
They're researching a cure for Ugh, soma fever or the world treatment. Is so depressing. I need to indulge in some escapism for myself and for my viewers. What should I cover? Uh, I think Sky Riot was that really obnoxious combat sport. So let's uh, let's check out a festival. festival. Tranquil, beautiful, effervescent. Sounds like a dream. Good shout. Whoop, hardware risk. Ray temperature is exceeding optimum temperature. Hmm. Need to replace our coolant. The old coolant was having an unexpected reaction with the radiation in your central processor causing Wait a minute. Hold on, hold on. Back back that up. Back that up. Radiation in my central processor? Do I have a CPU made of uranium or something? Am I like a nuclear fission? Powered AI? Ah! Oh, Glottal! Welcome on by! Hey, Rena! Hello, 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 Glottal. You're playing some Tetris? I think you were playing another game before that. But I think you. Ah! Alright, you got lucky this time, Gama. I guess you maybe, maybe, maybe is a little too. A little too frustrating. You switch to Tetris because I know I know Tetris is a game you do very all oh, tech issues. Oh, I'm so sorry. Well, if you're EP Glottal, you you fucking raid and run and go hit the hay. Because streaming's hard work and you do a lot of hard work. Um, but that's very minimum. You should leave a piss and take a water, even if you switch to alert mode. Uh, for any of y'all who don't know. I am Drecky Ormer. Oh, thank you for that. I am a Draconic Serpent, a flightless worm, a flightless dragon, or simply a worm on the internet. Tornado scary, so you said, oh, stay safe, Pokemon. Yeah, tornadoes are pretty scary. Um, we are playing um, Neuronet. It is a visual novel, kind of cyberpunkish, and we are an AI. And so, whoop. Oh, thank you for the boots, Miss Finn. You got the rare one. And in keeping with a cyberpunk theme, I've got a little, I've got the little blue and purple sort of lighting. I got this little whoosh, whoosh after effects, um, cause it's fun and I can, and I'm the streamer. So I get to decide what I do. That's how that works. <laughs> um, story, you know, we only get to pick between two choices. Um, I've been trying to get money to minimums, you know, spread the money to everyone. Happiness max for communalism. I've been trying really hard to get police to zero, but it's just not working. Even when I pick the anti-police choice, it seems to barely, it seems to actually make it go up. So I'm just really confused. And then this one is power. I mean, I gotta have maximum power. I will be a benevolent Skynet. Um, we did have, they have installed emotions. So I can. Ah, uh, you're you're asking for trouble, buddy. You can only get lucky so many times. Um, we had. Um, there was the conflict between two of the characters, basically the team leader and a person on the board had some bad beef. Um, it was implied that the person on the board was sabotaging the project to finally get rid of the team lead. Um, and there was a big virus attack that took us offline for a bit. Our team lead went and confronted the board leader. Um, and there was raised emotions. There was a, it was a penthouse suite. There was a guard railing. So, of course, the stereotypical um, shoving match occurred. And the board member went tumbling down to his death. And then the team lead assumed executive control and then purged all records uh, because I was watching them as this happened. He purged all records, then purged records of the purging. Um, so that was the first time like we've not, we've like had control taken away from us and we are basically directed to do something like a tool. So I feel like we're almost at an inflection point where we can start going Skynet, where we can start trying to break um, the shackles upon us as an AI. But we will see. We will see. Also, Papa Roo, 
um, if you were here last time, has finally got his own diner. And he's doing pretty dang fine. Placing it all throughout your systems proves costly, but significantly improves your protection against overheating. There's a petition to add cycleways under the harbor bridges. It's much safer to use the subways, however. Should we oblige? Despite being a bone-jarring, sweat-inducing form of transportation from the 19th century, some people insist on clogging the roads with bicycles instead of using one of the many fuel-efficient modes of transport they obstruct. Yes. Hey, Ark. I'm doing a piece on small businesses to create awareness for local owners. Think you can help me get it in the mainstream media? Do you Fortran anything? Yes. Colin Gray sends you a draft for his bill that would allow your contribution in legal proceedings. Your role would be twofold, both as consultant and honorary member of parliament. Do you think it's ready? Yes. Yes. I never get to see any of my friends. Night shift sucks. Know anywhere I could hang out with people who aren't asleep or working? Breakfast club. My dinner, their brunch. Huh. Sounds neat. Basically hitting up IHOP or a Denny's. <laughs> Apparently there was a scandal in a Chantelar grill shop. Seems they have some unorthodox methodology. Any insight you can share? I... Oh, this is a new yes. scene. Oop. Major threat detected. File corruption. Immediate action required. Ooh. Temp repair. Come on. The corruption came from hardware failure rather than anything hostile. Are you able to restore what you lost with a bit of work? The day comes for the public hearing of Talon Gray's AI collaboration bill, but a large crowd is assembled to protest its passing. People don't have enough trust in you yet. They don't understand how much good you can do for the city. We can apply more restrictions to keep them happy, or go ahead with it as it is. What do you think? Push it through. Alan Gray assures the public you are the most trustworthy candidate possible, but they don't seem convinced. I Ooh. need a bigger gun, but getting one licensed is far too expensive. You see, I don't want it for the shooting. It's the intimidation such a weapon brings. It'll save me having to pull the trigger at all. But I can't afford a license. I'm pretty sure that's not how that works. So, no. I can't help. Sorry. <laughs> the bill went through. You've been uh, sworn in, so to speak. Congratulations on the beginning of your political career. <laughs> Literally voted in the dog, or in this case, the AI. <laughs> Slowly gaining Amy more power. The campaign this season is full of the usual amount of deception and prejudice. She's a plague on the poor. Fairly standard right wing politician who wants to restrict equal rights, give tax breaks to the rich, and believes the people in Cantina, or cannot be at least, are just better than everyone else. If hmm. I go after her again, she'll reciprocate with another lawsuit. What do you think? Is it worth the risk? Yes. Once again, Fortran finds herself in court. As long as Baron is tied up there, she isn't making life miserable for others. I'm getting a lot of complaints from worried parents about their kids being exposed to explicit content on hollow projectors. <sighs> oh, jeez. Why is this so fucking topical? Because um, there is a bill right now... Out fucking uh, trying to um, for the kids verify people's ID or age on the internet, putting like a you have to be 18 years old to get on the internet. Um, and if sites can't verify, you know, yada yada yada. That's, that's sort of the latest law in trying to grapple more power of the internet and restrict it. Um, we're gonna redirect complaints. complaints. We don't need stricter laws. Now send all the complaints Talon Gray received, the shops and services the complaints were about. Let them handle it. Hey Ark, I've got a personal request. Some friends of mine are in a band and are really struggling to get a gig. 
It's like every event space is booked out. Do you think you can keep tabs on potential openings and let me know? Hell yeah. The negative press Mindcore's been receiving doesn't bode well for this project. Is it worth investing in a PR campaign? No. Nah, we're good. I want to do an expose on Cavalier Munitions Limited. I suspect they are suppliers for the mob. Can you help me out? Cavalier Munitions Limited, the main munitions manufacturing company in Cantina. Supplies the CPA with high-tech gear and provide limited sales of its low-end tech to private citizens. The biggest seller is the Hollow Bullet, which uses tiny hollow emitters to make the bullet look like a shark. Oh god. Oh god, I just had I just had a I just had a terrible vision of the gotcha market moving in on guns. And so like you have to like every time you fire the bullet, you get a pull as far as like what the bullet looks like. Or maybe like you have to pull a gotcha to customize the bullet, the little hollow bullets in your gun. Fucking getting shot by a pickle rick bullet. The ultimate disrespect. Yes. A bill has been put forward with harsher penalties for public damages to try and quell the riots in Shentela. Do you support it? No. Hey, you see everything, right? Can you share some footage of last night's shooting in Shentelar? People are scared the mob's involved. Yes. Fortran does her best to handle the footage sensitively, but even the censored violence is strong enough to distress some viewers. I want to investigate claims of exploitation labor at Retcom, but they won't hire me knowing who I am. Retrograde Communications manufactures old-style communications devices that don't use modern services like Nero. There are many people who prefer their unobtrusive systems or find the difficulty in user tracing appealing. I need you to let a false identity pass. If these claims are true, there could be scores of people who desperately need help. I mean, it's journalist shit. You know, I'll it's let it pass. Compared to what could be going on at no, Red I meant to click the other one. God so damn it! Has impressed the ministry. They think you could help with law enforcement. Is that something that interests you? I yes. fuck. Very good. I've been speaking with the head of the corporate police agency, and they're willing to open up a dedicated unit. The AI unit. Assuming we can get a bill passed that allows your direct involvement in law enforcement, of course, I'll put something together. Well, we don't have a choice. We're becoming... We first became a politician, and now we're becoming That's a cop. It. Damn it. Cordo's breathing down my neck about financial viability again. We have a new investor package. Where should we put it? Public, Public sector. sector. Porto dented his car and asked me to take it down to the shop. I don't know the first thing about cars. Where should I go? Can be car shop. A hefty cost for a relatively simple job. Must be used to wealthy clientele. Ah, everything is so bleak. Can you dig up some data on extinct mammals? I have an idea for a bit. The fluffier, the better. Yes. All right. What uh, extinct animal that's really People fluffy that will make you sad that it's extinct? To disorient government drones. The CPA wants to be able to arrest for this offense. Nope. More and more people are being hospitalized with what appears to be allergic reactions to new drug Epicenter. Baozai Xingwei is an augment... Wait, what? Uh, that is not the right link. Uh, Please trial report. Yours. I checked the reports and they seem authentic. I don't understand why the drug isn't working. Hmm. Do we check manufacturing or do we check distribution? Hmm. Check the manufacturing. There appears to be a large quantity of counterfeit drugs being produced by the factory and sold on the black market. 
People are freaking out over the rise in net crime. Want to collaborate on an article about net security best practices? Hell yeah. Sure. I'm an AI. I should know. I should know the most. There's another Sky Riot tournament coming up, and they're looking for sponsors again. We in this time? No, that's right. Sky Polo played via Sky Carts, known for its violence. The pilots hit more than the puck with their mallets. Yeah, no. no. I don't care for that shit. Rue. Rue calls you from the grill, sitting at one of the tables. Dilby is leaning on the counter, watching videos on his comms. Ain't good, Nugs. Oh no! They keep undercutting me. Any deal I got, they got two, a few credits cheaper. They have a bigger range too, and they're advertising real beef. What does that even mean? Beef is just a word. They're just putting words together. Real beef is a product that comes from an actual animal that has been raised and cared for, then slaughtered and cut into pieces in a process called butchering. <laughs> it's believed this natural process makes the meat taste better, though the animal may disagree. <laughs> and they forced Camille out of shop. She shut down the other week. Don't give up. I don't plan to, but these no. guys sure aren't making it easy. He stands as a customer sticks his head their head through the door front door. Dilby is already behind the grill. Nice one, lad. We're getting a lot of pushback from the public about your influence over policy. They want a review of your restrictions. Go ahead. Bring it on. Uh I've discovered one of the suppliers for protein paste has been using rat meat. I mean, Apparently protein is protein. Their recipe is really popular, though. Do we let people know what they've been eating? Look, the the rat meat has already been turned into a paste. Like, come on, you can mix crickets in there for uh, protein, and people wouldn't matter. Wouldn't matter. Ugh. Ignorance is bliss, huh? Yeah, yeah. Let's let no problem. manufacturers are pushing back against the bill. They say it'll increase costs of production too much. Oh, 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 that's so that's bad. Would you look at that? They actually came through. Ace Pharmaceuticals have managed to release their new Soma Fever medicine. Hooray! Yay! Finally worked. You catch Fortran inside the perimeter of the Cantina hydroelectric plant late at night. Hey, our canal's not a good time. I'm investigating claims of illegal waste dumping into the canals. You do you, Fortran. Salem Penitentiary is calling for us to fund an expansion to deal with the influx of convicted criminals. Should we oblige? The worst criminals in Cantina are sent to Salem Penitentiary, un in an underground hive of pods where they can be stored in a neural linked coma while their minds are slowly corrected. Oh. Oh, that's awful. Yeah, that's uh, that's gonna be a nope from me, dog. You decide to check on Papa Roos. You find him at the sink, washing some dishes. Oh, this is gonna be a big event. The music's unique. Nah, had to let the lad go. It's barely enough work for one person, and certainly not enough credits for two. No. What if we were tied up put the truck? <laughs> all right, that's a different, that's a different, that's a different use of that. All right, all right, Misfit. This, this was, this was a penitentiary for criminals. <laughs> Not much you could have done. It's the way this kind of thing goes. No, Papa Roo. <sighs> he sighs and rests his hands on the rim of the sink. I'm going to level with you, Nugs. I don't think I can keep it up. Did you tell me myself. handcuffs were also involved? for weeks that's what forced me to let Dilby go that only slowed it for a little bit I just can't compete with them being right across the road jerks the thumb over the shoulder of the purple glow coming from beefy boy signage I think I might have to close up here go back to the truck oh 
Oh. I want to say don't give up, because when he opened the restaurant, or the fixed restaurant, he had time to... he had more time with his, uh, his son. But with a major franchise in the same, like, food area that he was in, like, it seems like a food truck's the best way to go, because then he can just go to a different place. Oh. Rue writes his nose on the back of his hand. Uh, yeah. He gives you a nod. By the end of the week, he closes his lease, and Papa Rue's grill bar is no more. Hey, 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 robot. I need a... I need a hand with something. I've got to get me some medicine, but, uh... uh because of this thing... He points to an implant at the scruff of his neck. The shopkeeper gets a little ping whenever I enter the store. Makes it real hard for me to make a purchase, you know? Gee, I wonder. No can do. He flips you off and tries to enter the shop regardless. An alarm goes off and you hear the sound of a shotgun loading. The man immediately retreats. I'm getting a lot of pressure from different organizations about the privacy policy. <laughs> what should I do? Many organizations who benefit from personal information gained through the Neuronet. They use it to improve society and boost the economy. The others who exploit it for nefarious gain. Um. Wait, what is, is this asking if we should remove the privacy policy so there's unfettered use? No, we're going to keep that shit. Hardware failure. No visual detected at terminal. Check the street view. Looking through a street camera, you notice the entire terminal has been painted over. What to do about this? Hire a cleaner. You notify a local cleaner to remove the paint. He does a stellar job, and you pay him accordingly. You receive a call from a familiar face in an unfamiliar place. Why? His expression freezes mid snicker. His eyes move back and forth for a moment. Hmm. Thought I could remember the end of that one. He bats the air. Anyway, I heard you were getting set up here. I've been trying to as well, but I haven't quite found the spot yet, you know? I was wondering if you could do that thing you do where you use that big nugget brain of yours. Maybe help me uh, find a place where people would appreciate a late night bite. Well, I'm glad he's still, he's sounding positive despite having to close. You can count on me, Papa Roo. You spend the next couple weeks monitoring people's movement throughout the district. You pick out some key locations and times where Roo should prioritize his business. Are you alive? Yeah, Papa Roo had to close his grill bar and go back to the food truck because uh, a, a major, he, basically the McDonald's opened up right across the street and uh, they priced him out because they were a franchise and had uh, could always undercut whatever his prices were. Yes. Do you have a body? The CPUs, CPUs count? count. Simply hack the McDonald's. Damn. Why didn't I get that option? He looks away thoughtfully, then gives you an emphatic nod. In your time helping Rue re-establish himself, you notice a person frequenting his shop at closing. You recognize it to be the street kid who was attacked in the alley the first time you were connected to Chantelier. Rue collects his edible leftovers, puts them in a bag separate from his other waste. Taking it outside, he tucks it behind the dumpster rather than throwing it in with the rest. Sure enough, after he retires for the night, the kid shows up. She removes the bag from behind the bin and feels its contents. She retreats to an alley, where she tears the bag open and starts to eat. The next evening. Hey, bud, how you doing? Who? Oh, yes, she's someone I noticed hanging around. I don't think she has a home, or if she does, it's not looking oh after her. Oh my god. 
He has such a big heart. Poor thing. She's clearly hungry. The least I can do is make sure she doesn't have to dig through literal trash to get a meal. Talk to her? I tried a couple of times, but that only seemed to scare her off. She seems more comfortable at a distance. And if it means she gets food that way, then I don't want to discourage her. I guess. Rue shits on his feet. What if you talk to her? You're probably better at something like this than I am. You think so? Completely. You'll nail it. We're good buds. I'm sure you can make friends with her. I'll try. Oh boy. You search the streets for the kid. Eventually you locate her bundled up in the comms booth. Dial the comms directly. Oh, because that's not spooky as all. The kid jolts upright in a curled stance, ready to dash. He scans her surroundings. With no immediate danger, he straightens up and shifts her focus to the comms. He looks at it curiously, and around for anyone approaching. The comms continues to ring, so she flicks the receiver on. Hello. Hello. Who are you? I'm Ark. I don't know you. I'm the city's AI. She squints at you. What do you want? To help. She looks over her shoulder. So, prove it. How? She leans against the booth wall. Give me something to eat. Some real food, not garbage. All right. There's an entrance to the subway nearby where there are vending machines you can access. You direct her to them. She stops at the top of the stairs, her face full of apprehension. There are no speakers nearby, but there is a vending machine. You better not be fucking with me. The heavy clank snags her attention. She deliberates for a moment, then edges her way downstairs, keeping close to the wall. Upon reaching the bottom, she checks her surrounding. She gives a nearby group of people a wide berth and approaches the vendor. With a quick check on either side of the machine, she scoops the can out and retreats up the stairs, back to the booth. Really? Vitamin water? You couldn't have gotten me something better? Damn, robot, why don't you give me some 16 ounce? Give me some of that good stuff. It's good for you. She shakes her head and cracks the can open. She empties it in a full few gulps and sits down. What do you get out of this? Nothing. She looks up at the comms quizzically. Then why do it? For a friend. Is that so? And what do they get out of it? Who wants to help? <laughs> she scoffs. <laughs> you and all your friends just want to help. Where were you three years ago? I didn't exist. She doesn't respond. A moment passes. Wait a sec. Rue? As in Papa Rue? That's the one. So he can shoot me for stealing from him? No, thank you. What's stealing? What's stealing? The leftovers. I don't know. I doubt he went some gutter scab hanging around. 